I am delighted and privileged to invite you to share some magical moments of the inaugural annual dinner and gala awards evening of the League of Gentlemen, which was held on Saturday, October 2, 2005. The function proved to be one of the highlights of the Australian social calendar, and tickets, which were invitation only, proved very hard to obtain. Nevertheless, several hundred guests filled the palatial home of Sydney socialite Dame Ethel Chessel, Wendy to her many friends, and a wonderful evening was had by all. The formalities began with a spirited rendition of the British National Anthem at the insistence of Log President John Tinlegs Anderson, Order of Australia and Bar, believed to be the Hilton's Marble Bar. The President then offered a few words of welcome, but not few enough. Please settle back and enjoy these priceless memories of the 2005 Log Annual Dinner. We begin with some footage of the magnificent awards venue, Castle Chessel. Castle Chessel, the stately home of Dame Ethel, was built during the reign of King Graham the Compassionate by his Chancellor, Archduke Tregonius. Perched at the very top of Reevesby Heights, the magnificent edifice is one of the landmarks of the Greater Bankstown area. Es ist euch wohl oft schwer gefallen, wenn ihr meint, es müsse und nun ein Wandel kommen und er kann nicht und immer wieder muss er euch da fehlgerichtet werden. Es muss weiter gekämpft werden, es geht nicht, ihr dürft nicht handeln, ihr müsst gehorchen, ihr müsst euch fügen, ihr müsst euch diesem unharten Zwang beugen.
she wears red feathers and a hooly hooly skirt. She lives on just cookie nuts and fish fur on the sea. A rose in her hair, a gleam in her eyes, and love in her heart for me.
at long last, I am able to say a few words of my own. I have never wanted to withhold anything. But until now, it has not been constitutionally possible for me to speak. A few hours ago, I discharged my last duty as king and emperor. And as the log annual dinner draws to its close, we gaze for the final time on the majestic battlements of Castle Chessel. The massed pipes and drums of the John Dank 63rd Foot and Mouth Brigade bid us a sad goodbye. On behalf of Log President and Provisional Life Member John Anderson, and fellow Log Directors and Full Life Members Kevin Hancock and Nigel Dibbs, this is Ken Grundy, Log CEO and Full Life Member, inviting you to the 2006 Log Annual Dinner. But for now, farewell and Godspeed. <laughs>